just take any kitchen item that you may have in the refrigerator, such as this pickle. Properly insert it into the Vegematic and watch it go to work. It will start mincing and pulverizing that pickle to pieces. And yes, what about that stale cheese that you've had in your refrigerator for weeks? That's hazardous to other foods. Simply add that into your Vegematic salad and watch that puppy go to work. This cheese will make a salad lover's dream. Yeah, let me tell you, boy. And what about those moldy bananas that have been sitting on your kitchen cupboards for months on end? Simply, yes, simply add that to the Vegematic. And yes, it will complement your salad perfectly. A little mold won't hurt anybody. And yes, what about the sauces you have in the refrigerator that you're about to throw out? Little green moldy here and there, a little fuzz on them? No problem. Simply add that into the Vegematic also, folks. Yes, it'll complement those salads nicely. And wait, that's not all. What about those taco sauces that you've been using only on your tacos and burritos? Use your imagination, folks. Add that to your Vegematic salad. Yes, indeed, folks. And it will complement your salad perfectly. And when you have added all the items that you need to add into the Vegematic, simply flip up this handy little dandy dispenser, press the button, and watch the Vegematic go to work. It shakes, it rakes, and it will tuserizes the food, and it will stop automatically when it is through mixing and mincing. Yes, folks. And when you are ready to finish and drink your wonderful health drink, Simply, again, press this handy dandy little dispenser button and it will dispense all the food you need. And you have a perfect health drink. Yes, indeed, folks. That was the best thing I ever tasted in my life. If you want this new Vegematic, simply call the 1-800 number on the bottom of the television screen. And if you call now, you'll get this free oven mitt.
dude, I'm, I'm completely impressed by these cranks, man. They've gone through so much, they don't even bend. Where's the best bike ride in the world from? Right here, from Oklahoma. Right here, here. This is the best guy. You can ride right here. Why do cowboys like lassos? Because they like to squeeze cows! from like pulling the brakes so much, you know? I just, I just have to butt in here for a minute. This is my video. That's that's all I gotta say. It's my video, okay? It's mine. You have to come to the ground for it. Freestyle? 
gotta ride my bike. What tricks do you want to learn? Death truck and fakey wall wagon. <laughs> I mean, now I mean picture it. Why don't bank robbers use knives? Because they get the point. Guys are flying very carefully orchestrated in a variety of efforts to restore Air control is essential. Once we gain air control, and we certainly will gain air control. Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> get it? Pop, weasel, boom, weasel, there it goes. Ah! Okay, man, the therapy will work, I guarantee it. 
I'd like to dedicate this next jump to my best friend in the whole wide world, Matt Hoffman. <laughs> What's your name? Psycho. Riding is the most exciting and dangerous way to ride. The only thing between the rider and an emergency room is a safe landing. I didn't wear my shoulder pads once, and I <laughs> just dropped in, and I, I just shattered my whole shoulder and stuff. I had to get all reconstructed. Can you show it to me? The happiest boy in the world right now. Look at that. He's, oh, no, he OD'd on chocolate. Oh, my God. Matt, Matt, it's national TV. Hey, Matt. Oh, you're on those painkillers again. Quadrillion dollars and forty-three. Ah, forty-three. Yeah, complain about the cafeteria food more. When I was little, I would have, I would have loved to have some cafeteria food. I would just, if I could have had some cafeteria food, that would have been like, like, <laughs> like the end of Armageddon. You know what I'm saying?
That's what happened. He's my hero. They can't do it on a roof, they shouldn't be doing it. No. Hey, Bart, whoa, whoa. Hey, Bart, what do you think of bike riding? Yeah! 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 yeah. Most of our factory riders are professional. Let's see. See this right here? See that come off? That broke off right there. That that little incident caused me to stay in the hospital for a day and a half completely unconscious. <laughs> it's pretty psycho. That was that was that time right before that um that trip in to um to France, to Paris, we went, like, I got it, had amnesia for like three days, and going down, like, I didn't even remember I could ride or anything, <laughs> I mean, it was just, it was so weird, because I, I mean, I kind of, I mean, I kind of remembered, but I, I didn't know any tricks, and it was just, it was so funky, but I wanted to go so bad, so I just, I, I didn't say nothing, I just went ahead and went, and, but boy, it knocked me out for, like, they said for over six hours, <laughs> I was just completely out cold. And I was flying on the plane, just all tripping out and stuff. I forget they all. Whenever I was dropping in, they all tell me stuff I could do. It was, it was, it was weird. Yeah.
through the tundra. Oh, no. surgery my shoulder and I hit my scar and it's tender and it made a little bruise. Ooh. Yeah. I got the house a little while ago but that's what the ride to make her. Fast healer, though, because it was actually going to take about three months, but it was it was working pretty good in about a month. Yeah. Oh. Not what I wanted to do. Rocket X up, no footer, so no Yeah, that was a screw Saddam trick. 
now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Dr. Yates, we're looking in your right shoulder from behind, from posterior to anterior. This needle's coming in through what we call the, the soft spot between the biceps tendon and the subscapularis tendon. See, so we're in the tear right there. Very, very significant tear in a young, uh, young athlete. In fact, I can't say I've seen one in a young athlete quite like this, so you've obviously had a, quite a spill on your bike last month. Actually, my 
I let it, I don't brush or anything for two weeks and take about an hour and try to brush all the dreads out of it and just rip half it out and cut most of it. So <laughs> that's my secret. <laughs> just because it feels good and everything and take the talent God gave you and just keep trying to perfect it, you know, until and I just happened to love it so much I constantly rode and kept trying to get better and better and, and beat my old goals. and. This time the condo video is really not complete without the joke. No hop vid is complete without the joke of the day. Let's hear it. Uh, why did the otter cross the road? Why? Why did why did that little four-legged varmint cross that road? Well, it's really not that uncommon. It's a natural thing in nature. Animals, all sorts of animals, not just otter, they cross the road every day. If there happens to be a, an asphalt slab between point A and point B of an otter's journey, he will go across it. It's not like the yellow line acts as some sort of mental mental block, you know, for him to go across. He'll, he'll do it. He'll go for it. Exactly. What about... Hey, hey. Oh, check it out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We got the Matt Hoffman head first video special going on here. Special. Short time only for the next five years. It's rated 50 star. bucks. 50 bucks. This gets a four-star rad rating sp on the special count. 50 bucks yeah. will get you Matt Hoffman's autograph. Huh? Yeah. Huh? And, and 150, even a better deal... We'll get it not typed out. I mean, actually signed. <laughs> 250 bucks will get you an autographed picture. Huh? Check that. It, it might not be Matt's picture. It, won't e it might not even be his autograph, but... Yeah. It, it, might, it might just be like a baseball player with a signature on his forehead. Uh, it, it could be anything. 200, I heard this video... I heard this video was going to bring out the inner rage 
you know, and all freestylers. And, you know, everybody has that inner age. I know. heard that if freestyle was outlawed, only outlaws would ride, too. Yeah, you know, you don't get good just sitting around thinking about it. You know, it's something you have to go out there and physically do. Actually, actually, you know what? I was thinking today about getting back to my roots, Matt. Roots? Dude, I, I was thinking about today, and I woke up, and I put a uniform on, and I was, and I looked at myself in the mirror, and I just thought, dude. man, if anything represents me more, it's a, it's a uniform. If anything just shows who...